down, and this is 12 rigs of Christmas. I can't believe that stupid California carb compliant electric sleigh goes down on me 20 feet into the into California. Whoa! Oh, oh! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! I gotta go find help! Man, I can't believe this shit. First my new California carb compliant sleigh goes down. Electric power my ass. Now I'm out here in the middle of the woods and who do I run into? The Grinch himself. That cold hearted bastard tackles me, takes all the presents, leaves me with one beer. Son of a bitch, I gotta find somebody out here. Wait a second. Hey! What's up Santa? What's the odds of that? It's Brecken in his Toyota. Boy, am I glad to see you. Oh man, you are a sight for sore eyes. You know, I had to switch sleighs over there uh, on the Nevada, California border because I had to get my new California carb compliant electric sleigh, right? <laughs> uh, I'm on a test run here, you know, getting ready for the season. And I got about 20 miles in and what happens? Straight down. No charging station out here? No charging stations out here. So I'm out here in the middle of the woods that happened to be next to Fort Ice. I'm walking through the woods with all the presents. And what happens? This green little bastard spider monkeys me from the top of this rock. He just takes me out. Takes all my presents. You know who it was? The Grinch himself. I think his lair is up there at the top of Windchill 5. So I took off booking through the woods. I'm hoping to find somebody. Who do I find? You. Here we are down at committee, so I'm trying to get a group together. You want to take me up the hill and we'll see if we can't get up to five and find him and find his lair and yeah. take back the world's presence for all those little boys and girls that are waiting? It's on. Game on, huh? It's on. All right. I think this Grinch's lair is at the top of Windchill 5, so here we are coming into 3. This should be interesting. It'll be fun. Show all those full-size guys how the Toyota's party? Exactly. Okay, you ready, Santa? I'm ready. Uh, that looks pretty much like a wall. <laughs>
Come on, come on. Get it, get it! Come on, baby, come on! That's windshield three right there. Yeah. A little Toyota that could. But that was like what? Minute or less? Man. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how you do a windshield three. The little Toyota that could. Hey Brock, I think we need to get out and do a little walk around on this bad boy. Show the world what makes windshield three that easy. All right, so we just slayed windshield three. What do you think about that, Brock? You're a man of few words. I feel like we need to do a walk around on this truck. Now this truck has been on 12 rigs of Christmas before. How many years ago was that? I think that was two years ago. Two years ago, yep. And Brecken, so this is our next generation coming up. I actually went to high school with Brecken's mother. <laughs> Which is awkward. The backstory, this was my truck. I sold it to you. And as a young man, it was your first project to kind of build on your own, put together, get yep. out here and go wheeling, right? Yep. And uh, you've gone through multiple stages. And what was the first stage of this truck? Um, just a Toyota axle leaf spring conversion that it, me and Blake did. Yeah, I mean, that's where it always starts, right? Yeah. Solid axle the front. It's an 86, right? 88. Oh, 88. Ooh, that's those double snowman. So you cut the IFS out, right? Yep. And you went leaf springs and Toyota axles front and rear. Yep. And you wheeled it for what, two years like that? Just one season. Oh, one season. Yeah. And it wasn't enough, was it? No. It's never enough. Not enough party. Yeah, not enough party. Move along, the reason why we're doing this thing again is you've done quite a few uh, things. You did some remodeling, right? Yeah. Tell us what you got going up here to start with. Kingpin uh, Chevy 60, right? Yep, yep. Kingpin Chevy 60. And push the axle far enough forward to where we can actually run the tie rod behind the axle. Which is something nobody usually does. So no. you have our behind the axle steering Yep. with the Toyota steering box pushes far forward. Yep. And then you came to the shop and got all the parts and pieces to do this three link and do the one ton swap at the house with your dad, right? Yep. Yep. And so you have a three link with behind the axle steering with the steering box up front still with PSC hydro assist. Yep. And you were able to fit the tie rod behind the axle. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. It was tricky, but it's worth it. But you it. made it happen. And the other thing that's different about a lot of people linking Toyotas and keeping it this low is how long are those shocks? Those are 14s. So I actually cut the C's off rotated them um, so I can maintain all 14 and no limit straps. So your pinion angle points up right now because yep. you took the C's off, put reed C's on it, yep. and then the 14s will fully droop out yep. and not bind the drive line. Uh -uh. And it still sits really low to the ground. Yeah, fairly low. And the transfer cases, let's talk about the transfer case. They're just two stock Toyota cases. So two stock Toyota cases with stock gears in it. Yep. So you got that extra length and then the front drive shaft. It's a uh, the rear. So it's the old rear drive yeah. shaft that you cut down. So yep. it's just Toyota long ear, uh, bottom and top. You did uh, our 60 Toyota flange in the front. Yep. And then uh, stock factory Toyota U joints, right? Yeah. You never want to replace them because the no. stock ones last way longer. Yeah. So your your front drive line was all of like a hundred bucks. Pretty much. Because you already owned it. Then then what'd you do? You took the original front drive line. Yep, and turned it into a Made rear. the rear. So the front drive line is a CV drive line. Yep. Which means when you put it in the rear, you can turn the pinion up uh -huh. and have no vibration when you're driving down the highway because you do drive this, right? Yeah, it's my daily at home. It is the daily, and hence the reason why you have a steering box and a hydro assist ram yep. so that you can get out on the open road and let her eat, huh? Yeah, exactly. So 22RE stock, right? Yep. And runs great? Yeah. Passes California smog? No. <laughs> we'll work on that. Uh, forged method rims. Yeah, thanks, locked. thanks to Blake. Thanks to Blake. And then these right here, I think your dad got you these, right? Those came off the race car. Came off the race car. Those and those are, the are... I raced hammers on. KR3 stickies, yeah. KR3 stickies. They're all cracked and weather checked, but as you can see from down there, they get it on, huh? They still work. A little shimmy down the highway. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Uh, other than that, just basically you remove stuff to make everything fit with the axle in the front. Yeah. Got air bumps in the front. Yep. Kings, obviously. 
So tell us about the back. Walk around the back here and show me what you got. You made your own sliders, right? Yeah. Built your own sliders. They got the Toyota bump. Built the sliders and the rear bumper. Yep. And I'm looking at this, this rear end and the rims are so offset in that you can almost see the wheel hub sticking out. Yeah. Uh, and this is narrower. So this is, you may not know this. I don't think you know what year it is, but this is 84 to 85 and a half four wheel drive or two wheel drive F250. This is the Dana 70U Snowfighter edition. Yep. And what's, what's the beauty of why we want this axle brake? Well, it's not a boat anchor, first of all. And, and why is that? It's smooth bottom, it's shaved. Smooth bottom, and they did that for plowing snow, so yep. the whole bottom is smooth on it. Yep, so it slides over everything. And, and then, it came factory 35 spline. Yeah, factory yep. 35 spline, and I can run 617s. You can run 617s, that's the beauty. Right. If you had a 14 bolt in here, we couldn't run 617s. No. So with the low pinion Chevy 60 front, ARB in the front, 617s, chrome alloy axles with what kind of U-joints? Uh, Yukon Super Joints. 35 spline outers. Yep. So in the rear, you run Dana 70 617 gears. Yep. And what locker in there? Uh, that's an ARB. ARB. And then chrome alloy axles? Yeah. Yukon chrome those alloys? Are, those are fresh. Fresh chrome alloys. I, so I broke it right there. Look at this! Oh, it broke. <laughs> you, so you broke a 70 35 yeah. spline shaft in there. You would say that having this 70 is a big benefit of this truck and what it does, how it makes it through this stuff, right? I really think so. What kind of leaf springs you got in the rear? Uh, Chevy 63s. They actually came out of my Chevy. <laughs> oh, the other Chevy yeah. you have? Yeah. Chevy 63s with a torque arm? No torque arm. No torque arm. I have a torque arm kit at home, though. You just haven't put it on? Uh -uh. Wait, I, I set you up still. with a WFO torque arm kit? You don't put it on? For kids these days. I noticed the pinion's like wrapped up a bunch right now. <laughs> So yeah, you're bending it, your it springs. It is for sure. Yeah. The springs are bent. Yeah, and just tube, tube rear bumper. Yep. Um, it's gaining some dents. Yeah. Uh, what's on the horizon to do to this thing? Uh, hopefully over the winter, cut the frame at the cab and fully back half it and run a cage through it. So being it's already three linked in the front, triangulate four linked the rear. Yep. Um, take the bed off, cage it. Yep. <clears throat> but a lot of tube outside the cab. Some inside, some outside. Some inside, some outside. Yeah. But you're a little guy, you can fit in there. Yeah. Santa had a hard time fitting in there. It'd be tough with a roll cage. Santa was holding on for dear life the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, dude. Jesus. Oh boy. Oh boy. You know, this version of the truck is definitely a little bit more impressive than the other version, but what is impressive is that you guys bought all these parts, went home, built it in your garage, your dad and yourself, lots of yeah. long nights, and then, uh, you know, instead of being out there doing dumb stuff, playing video games, you're 21 years old and we're up here on the trail and uh, you're coming up just about every Saturday night and wheeling the crap out of this thing and having a good time, right? Yeah, me and AJ decided to leave at 10 last night. We need more of this. Back in the we day, did. all the young people were out here till three in the morning wheeling, having a good time in their Toyotas, not getting in trouble, not hurting <laughs> themselves. Well, I appreciate the ride. Yeah. Uh, I think from here, I know you said you got to get down the hill. I'm going to hoof it a little bit and see if I can't pick up another ride and get up there and yeah, Santa will find somebody. catch that goddamn Grinch with my bag, you know, yeah. with all the presents for those wonderful boys and girls of the world. <laughs> yep. All right. right Thanks on. for the walk around. Yeah. Thanks it's for the ride up Winch Hill 3. I it's hope fun. you guys enjoyed the clinic from Breck. Wait a second. I think I hear another rig. I'm going to go get another ride. Santa's out. You want to get laid in high school? Go to WFO's website. Run a sweet ride like this. 12% off till the end of the year. Oh my God, dude. Jesus.